An opening statement from Coach Dykes, then we'll go to questions. <laughs> Well, it's a heck of a heck of a football game. Um, we were fortunate to come out on the good end of it. You know, um, it was not pretty. We had some moments, you know, in the game that weren't very good. Obviously, the you know the turnovers were kind of an issue again tonight, uh, this afternoon. But the one we were able to get one at the end that was obviously a big play. I thought uh, I thought defensively, we really did a good job just hanging in there. You know, and. Um, making it so that we had a chance to, to come back. You know, we just kind of struggled a bunch offensively, kind of hurt ourselves, missed a fourth down. Obviously, like I said, turned the ball over three times. Um, just couldn't get much going. And then finally we settled in. We made some plays. You know, Eric McAllister continues to, to make some big plays for us when we need them. You know, thought Savion obviously did some great things today, particularly early in the game. You know, and then he made some plays for us down the stretch when we needed him. Um, wasn't real pretty, but it was a good win against a good football team. You got to give Texas Tech a lot of credit. I thought uh, Will Hammond came in and really played well. Uh, you can see why they're excited and high on him. I thought he really looked uh, calm and uh, confident and did a good job running their offense. And, you know, we were, we were fortunate to win, you know. Uh, uh, we just made enough plays down the stretch, like I said, and then defensively. You know, when we had to hold them to a field goal, we did and got the turnover there. So it was a good win for us. Coach, you know, just talk about the resiliency from Josh Huber tonight. Yeah, yeah. You know, we're so darn streaky at times defense, uh, offensively. You know, we'll just, we just have got to continue to get better and, you know, just be able to get good at some things. And, and I think at times we, you know, we made some plays when we needed to. Obviously, we had we had three big plays in the game, which was good. Um, you know, we didn't kick any field goals, and so when we got down in the red zone, we were able to, to score touchdowns, which obviously was a, was really important. Um, but I thought Hoover, you know, settled in. I thought once he kind of had a handle on what what was going on, um, you know, it looked like he just let the game come to him. And once he did that, I thought he was very effective and and you know, move the ball well and, um, you know, down the stretch, obviously. And, you know, it's just enough to, just enough to win. Something you talked last year about kind of a lack of explosive plays on offense. We've seen more and more of that yeah. this year. How nice is it to see? Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's look, it's hard in college football to have to drive it the length of the field and, and to score touchdowns, you know what I mean? And so, you know, obviously the Savion's run, the first series of the game was, was really good. We hadn't had a run like that. You know, an explosive touchdown run like that, where you know we break break a tackle, make somebody miss, and and that was a heck of a play. And obviously, the, the long pass to him was was obviously a big play, and then and then the big play to McAllister, um, and then a couple of touchdown drives sandwiched in between those. You know, where we had to execute a little bit, but you know, we just got to keep getting better offensively. You know what I mean? I think we just have have got to got to continue to to be able to run the football. You know, I think we ran for. Um, I think, I don't know, what is this? Yeah, I think we ran for 117, which is not great. You know, we just got to continue to run the football. And, and it was a weird game, though. You know, we got down. Uh, obviously, the third quarter was not, was not a great third quarter. You know, I didn't think we, we, we just had a hard time getting anything going on offense. And then we gave up the two drives coming out of the locker room uh, defensively. Besides those two drives, I thought defensively we played really well. I mean, you look at it. Um, you know, after the turnover held them to a field goal attempt, uh, they got us on the fake field goal. But, um, you know, you can tell our defense is getting better. I think we're playing with more confidence. Um, you know, the offense put the defense in some bad positions and, and the defense had their back against the wall at times. And, and I thought they responded well. And so we just got to continue to play better football together. But, you know, again, like I said earlier, hats off to, to our defensive players because they just kept battling. They just kept hanging in there. Um, just kept playing and expecting something good to happen, and we were fortunate down the stretch to get that turnover. Speaking of the opponents and adversity, does it feel like the team has kind of turned a corner since the bye Yeah, I think so. I mean, I, I hope so. I, I think we're playing hard. You know what I mean? I mean, I think we're playing hard. Now, we're making a lot of mistakes. You know, it's still not, it's still not great football, um, but we're playing hard, you know, and, and 
they're, they're starting to gain some confidence from grinding out some tough wins. You know, we're going to have to play better. I mean, that's the bottom line. If we want to be able to make any noise, we've got to play better. And we got to, we can't continue to turn the ball over like that. I mean, it just puts you in such a uh, put your back against the wall when you when you just continue to turn it over like we we have, and and we just got to not do that. And you know, I'm I'm excited and anxious for us to to at some point play a good football game on you know on on offense and defense together. We haven't done that yet, um, and I'm excited what this team can be if we can get to that point where where that can happen. Um, but man, right now it's a, it's a struggle sometimes. But as I said, the, the we were able to overcome it because the guys just played so dang hard. Coach, uh, Brooks got over 120 yards, but overall, the guys did a good job containing him. Uh, he averaged four yards per carry. I'll impress you with attacking on him. Yeah, yeah. I mean, look, the guy's a good running back. I mean, the, the thing that makes him really good is, you know, you hit him at the line of scrimmage and he makes four yards. And so I'm just impressed with his, you know, leg drive and power and ability to spin off uh, tackles. And I mean, the guy's just a really, really, really good football player. And you know, he gets his yards and he got them today, but we got him on the ground. We didn't give up any big plays. I thought that was the biggest thing to him um, and made him drive the ball and, and got off the field sometimes, held him to a couple of field goals, and that, that was the difference in the game. You talked about when Will Hammond came in, he played well. Did, did that do anything for y'all defensively? You have to change up anything? Well, you know, he's a little more apt to run the football. You know, kept it a little bit more probably on the, on the, on the zone read than – uh, Morton probably would. I mean, he's a good athlete. He can run around. You know, he, they converted that fourth down where he scrambled out of the pocket and thought we had him contained, and he slipped inside the, the defensive end and was was able to pick up the first down. Um, yeah, he's he's going to be he's a good football player. You know, he's athletic, and like I said, I thought he came in the game and handled himself like a veteran. I was really impressed with the way he played. So you thought Texas Tech probably had the best receiving you got to face so far this season. How do you think the second year? You know, I thought we did all right. We gave up a couple of plays, gave up a couple of long ones, but, you know, they're going to take shots. I mean, I thought our guys battled. I mean, again, you, you, you know, to me, the, the theme was we just competed. You know, the balls that we gave up, we were in position, we were fighting, we were competing. A couple of times they made a really good throw and the guy made a really good catch. And, you know, we were there. And we were, like I said, we were there and we were fighting. Um, and then there were a bunch, that they, a bunch of shots they took where we were able to battle and, and keep it away from them. And so, you know, um, that is a good receiver core. Those guys, uh, those guys are good at what they do. It's it's kind of a unique offense. I I think they do a good job um, because they can run the ball. They do throw it well, um, and they're going to take those shots and they're going to hit some of them. And you just got to keep playing. Well, this was Josh's first game-winning drive of his career after, especially the struggles of the third quarter. How important for a young quarterback is a moment like that and leading his team after struggling? Yeah, yeah, you know, important. I mean, I think it is. I think. I think again, you know, Josh is still learning. You know, the 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 second interception was just kind of, you know, us talking to him about what he doesn't need to do, just trying to force the ball. You know, he leaves the pocket and it's third down, and you know, we just need to punt. And uh, he's trying to make a play and, and kind of makes an ill-advised throw. And so we're we're getting there. We're making we're making steps, and and nobody's working harder than Josh and, and wants to be better than he does. Um, you know, and it is, he does so many good things. We just got to continue to to keep working and make sure we, we just limit those turnovers because we can have a good football team if we'll keep giving people the ball at the five-yard line and, you know, silly things that are happening right now. Coach, you always talk about finishing games. Yeah. Your backs were against the wall tonight. How yeah, to me, that's – you know, I mean, you guys have heard me say this. I mean, I really, really like this team. You know, I love the character. I love the – the, the way they, they care about each other, the way they like each other, love each other, the way they love TCU. I mean, it's a unique group. I mean, the guys are really, really invested into this program and to each other. Um, and I don't think you win a game like this if that's not the case. You know what I mean? I mean, you have to have – you've got to be somebody who just is going to keep getting off the mat – uh, you know, in a game like we had today. I mean, because we got we kept getting knocked down and kept getting knocked down and kept getting knocked down. It didn't look good. We just kind of kept getting up. And uh, again, I mean, you don't you don't have that kind of attitude and character, and you can't win a game like that if you're not um, if you're not just really good people like these guys are. I mean, they're just they're good people and they care. Like I said, they love each other. They don't want to let each other down. And um, that gave us a chance today, you know. And then, like I said, we were able to make a couple of plays. Made, 
Eric made the long play. Hakeem made the, the knock the fumble out. Um, you know, those are big plays, and you have to make some of those big plays down the stretch to win a game like tonight. So I think Josh will gain a lot of confidence for, from this. We'll go two more questions. So you mentioned last week you were concerned about the sustainability of using Savion so much at running back. He had 11 carries tonight as well. Is it still really important to get a running back going? Yeah, oh, for sure. Yeah, yeah, we want to. I mean, and, and I thought we did some good things today. I mean, I, there's some times, you know, Jeremy Payne, I thought, ran the ball well. Cam ran it good at times. I mean, I thought we were, you know, if you look at it, I think we were pretty effective running the ball. I think we were right around five yards of carry. Um, and so, you know, we just have to continue to do that. And I think the thing with us, you know, we just have got to kind of maximize our possessions. You know, we get a, we get a holding penalty kind of right out the gate. You know, we get about a 15-yard gain to save you on. We get a holding penalty. We can't overcome it. You know, then it just seemed like we kind of got in our own way at times getting started. And for us, if we can get the offense started, get that first first down and drive, then it seems like we can get going pretty well. But sometimes right now we're our own worst enemy, and we just got to we gotta quit doing that. Yeah, you know, it's just he's, he's strong, he's powerful, he's elusive, all the stuff, um, determined, you know, and, and he's, uh, he's a hard guy to tackle. You know, it's going to take more than one guy to do it. And, you know, I thought Texas Tech did a good job for the most part against him. He had the big run early and then, and you know, caught the big ball early. And then I thought they, they did a nice job kind of defending him after that for the most part. But, you know, he's going to he's gonna find ways to, to, to help you win the football game. You know, we're very confident that when we need to play, we can go to him and he can he can do what he has to do to help us win. Coach, do you, last one here. Do you think the Hypnotoad is officially back? Yeah, I hope so. Yeah, it seemed like uh, I, I kind of noticed that in the game today. It seemed like it got it gave everybody a little bit of a charge. And um, look, it means a lot for us to play in, in Eamon Carter Stadium, and uh, we haven't performed very well here. And it bothers our players. It bothers me. Um, you know, we want to make this an environment that's special and unique in college football, and it has been at times. Um, and we've got to we just got to play better. We got to play better for our fans so that they can. You know, come to a game, stay to the game, stay through the game. Um, you know, see a good football team play. Be excited about our team, because you know when this place gets rocking and rolling, it's a great atmosphere, and and we've got to we've got to find a way to to make that happen. Thanks, Coach. Okay, thank you guys. Well, players are next. <laughs>